did a countdown for yourself. <laughs> yes, I did do a countdown for myself, John. <laughs> but listeners and watchers, because now we have watchers, because we're doing a bag and board bite, and by we, I mean me and the two co-hosts over off camera. Uh, and I am here alone again, bringing you issues four and four of FF and Fantastic Four. You see how that works? It's almost poetic, or just algebraic. Um, and the two differences between this book are, I think what makes them a lot different is the art, because the tone is almost the same, but they're trying to have fun and zaniness, family kind of adventures. But for, but for whatever reason, Mike Allred's art works so much better in this vein than Mark, or yeah, Mark Bagley's. Um, in issue four, especially, it's uh, basically telling the, retelling the first time that Ben, or not Ben, uh, Mr. Fantastic, Reed, and Sue all meet, and it's basically this like long-running love story that Reed has. In fact, he goes to another dimension, time, space, and paints, you know, her uh, as a clue to himself later on when he, uh, because he knows that he is dying uh, with some sort of weird mutation of his, uh, I forget what they call, demechalized cells or unstable molecules, there we go, uh, that, you know, empower the Fantastic Four from the weird cosmic rays that they were hit. Um, and, you know, it's like, tugs, tries to tug at my heartstrings, uh, Matt Fraction's trying very hard at that with, with this issue here, and it just doesn't quite work for me. It just, I know the Reed and Sue story kind of well from reading all the past Fantastic Four issues. For whatever reason, it just kind of falls a little flat here. Um, you, you run into, they run into this race of creatures that are worshipping Sue as this almost deity figure, and you learn that Reed has painted these cave drawings way back in the day, and that's why he's like, why shouldn't they worship this wonderful woman? And it's a little bit too much ham fist, a little too hard, you know, coming down a little too hard from Reed's point of view. Um, and it just doesn't quite work. Even the moment where Re, uh, where Johnny like cuts a chair a leg to make sure that Ben falls out of it. You know, it's like almost like the original Fantastic Four movie with the whipped cream and uh, the thing's hand. You know, it's like overly trying to show the prankster element and doesn't quite work. Uh, while in Fantastic FF, Everything's working for me for whatever reason. The kids, the moloids, uh, just the interaction between Ant-Man and trying to lead a team but not being very good at it, and She-Hulk going out on wild dates. It all seems to be hitting on all cylinders, and I think that's mostly due to Mike Allred's art because you can get away with so much more zaniness, I think, with him than you can with uh, Mark Bagley. Um, it's just so much more of a fun book and a fun read than I'm getting in Fantastic Four. And if I, I think I might actually drop the actual Fantastic Four book and just pick up FF from now on. Um, if you agree with me or if you're feeling that, uh, maybe I'm just wrong in my, all of my opinions, which has happened before. It's you the can main comment view of the podcast. <laughs> it's the main view of the podcast. You can comment down below. Uh, email us contact at bagnaboardcast.com, Twitter us at bagnaboard, or you know you've probably found our Facebook using the name up above bagnaboard. Uh, mm -hmm. It's easy to do. We're we're everywhere on the internets. We're here on YouTube on your screen. Kind of scary. 